Hello Nigeria, hello Africa. My name is Kate Jones. You call me Katrina, the boss lady. And unfortunately, I am the first of the housemate for Big Brother and I just the five. Um, how I feel? Oh, I feel terrible. I feel. Oh, I'm having mixed feelings, but I just feel I was a very strong contender. And so oh, I'm just hopeful moving forward. And. I'm, I'm, I'm happy coming out anyways. Um, I've missed my family, I've missed my daughter, I've missed a whole lot of things out there. So, um, shout out to the Boss Nation, shout out to everyone who, uh, who has supported, loved, and prayed for me. Um, I'm thankful and I hope I'll make you guys proud now that I'm out. Thank you very much. Kisses. Bye. <sighs> I don't want to have to go. I'm not in the house. I wasn't the one evicted. So, today's eviction, the very first eviction of BBN5 lockdown season happened just a few hours ago. And it saw Katharina and Lilo being booted out of the house after the public had done and gone through the various voting methods that they so deemed fit which put up about 18 of the other housemates up for possible eviction and it brought them to the least four being Praise, Eric, Lilo and Katrina. And these least four voted housemates were put up to be nominated by their fellow housemates. And then the least four were reduced to just two being Katrina and Lilo. I feel really broken some sort because I never saw it coming for Katrina. Like seriously, cross my heart. I never saw it coming. Even when her name was mentioned as one of those who were least voted, I screamed my shirts off. Like literally, I did. And then when they went into the diary room to do the nominations, I still thought that by some slim chance, she would be saved. But this is Big Brother's game. Like who? knows the trajectory it goes no one no one the twist has just been launched honest to god the twist has just been launched watch out the big brother house is going to be real drama from henceforth like huh, nobody saw this coming i must tell you no one saw this coming like the main drama is yet to be unveiled like this week is going to be so loaded okay now to be honest with you some of the housemates i really did think were going to go were between Tochi, Raito, Kaisha, and probably Lilo. Lilo was definitely on the list for me. But then again, the public voted and the housemates voted. But to tell you honestly, I think I'm loving this style of voting because not only does it save us time, watch time, while we spent two hours in previous editions, this time we get to just spend about an hour or less. Oh my god, I so feel for Praise and Eric. I actually do feel for them. But then again, who also thought that it might have been a strategy? Or was it was it just mere coincidence that the pair who had actually done something in the house were the ones who were actually put up? Like, my god, was or was that just mere chance? But let's see how the game goes now, mostly for Eric. But you know what? This channel is focused on the single parent. So with one single parent out of the house. We have two more, Watoni and Praise. But all the same, the show must go on, the games must continue. Watoni and Praise have to bring us good drama, we are hoping. And um, yeah, for Katharina, we're wishing her the best, the very best, even as she goes into the society to mingle. And well, we don't really have to bother so much for her because trust me, Big Brother platform is enough platform or is a good enough platform for one to just kick it off. Honestly, it is. And like, um, Katharina, I liked her spirit and how she, you know, she took it as well. it is what it is. I mean, I saw her smiles while she was smiling, you know, when Ibuka asked her questions. But I believed that all she just wanted was the platform. And I think from the get-go, she had always said that, that she was looking for that platform. And I guess she got it. Now, one lesson we must learn is whatever you put your mind to, that's what you get. No matter how hard you try, it is what you first had your mind on and what you constantly have your mind on, that is what you get. And Katharina did get that. She is an example for us to learn. Put your mind at something, put your mind to something, and you sure will get that. But well, we're wishing her all the best. But our gossip for the Big Brother house still continues because we have Praise and Watoni still in the house. I actually did want to address the aspect of 
her being um, a single mom or not. But, um, well, she gave us the impression at first until later she began to tell us other details that we did not know. But whatever the case might be, you might want to check out one of the videos that, have, that talks about single parenting. So that way you could understand better who a single parent is and why we have termed her or chosen to affiliate with her as a single parent. Yeah, I said that also because I remembered at her diary session, her first diary session, she mentioned it to Biggie that as a single mother, she felt she could pair with Praise, who was also a single father. So she could say that the first time and then eventually divulge to us that she was not divorced from her husband. Well, that is her fault giving us the misinformation. So she maybe now as she comes out, she'll have to set things straight for us. All the same, which one concerns us? It's just the gossip, right? All right, so this is what the much we can take for today. We're looking out for more drama as the week unfolds. From us, it is love and light. Namaste.